Okay, y'all, I am back starting uh, another game. Shocking, I know, another zombie game, which I also know is shocking given my last gameplays I've done. Uh, we're starting Dead Rising 2. Um, never played it, uh, which should come as no surprise if you watch my Dead Rising stuff, you would know that I never played that game before. Um, I already kind of have some beef with this game in that my controller doesn't seem like it wants to work half the damn time, so... Um, Let's see if I can figure this out. All right, there we go. So yeah, uh, it's so weird. So like Dead Rising on Steam anyway, my, I, I don't know if this is an Xbox One controller I'm using or if this is an old Series X controller. I mean, I'm not sure what, what kind of controller this is I have, um, but it works just fine with Dead Rising, no problem. It, it's wireless, right? Or Bluetooth or whatever. Whereas uh, this game, it just does not work. That controller, I mean, it just will not accept it. So I, I had to, and I mean, I had to scrounge to find this. I forgot I even had this, but I found an old wired uh, Xbox 360 controller. So uh, I don't know what that's about, but what if? this release form before you go out there. Oh, and uh, don't forget to include your next of kin. Her name is Katie. Can you take her somewhere safe? Yeah, I'll take her to the green room. Go with the nice man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. Um, was that chainsaw sticking out of that motorcycle? Is that what I saw? Am I crazy? No, I'm not. Vegas. I guess you suck at killing zombies, otherwise she'd still be around! <laughs> Save it for the show, shithead. Zombies took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback! Most 
We're gonna give it to ya. I've been poking these zombies all week. And man, are they pissed. <laughs> Our contestants are almost ready. So let's send them a little message. You gotta be willing to risk it all if you're ever really gonna So, was like, are the zombies with the the things over their head like worth more points or something? This is weird. <laughs> I didn't think the game was gonna start out like this. Gosh, and the game is super quiet. Take the elevator up a floor, and then straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. Alright, so it's got the same kind of waypoint system as the first game. Man, the audio balance in this game is weird. Sometimes it's super quiet, sometimes the cutscenes are like, super loud. I don't know, man. So it, it seems like it has like the same kind of uh Is there anyone there? 
Okay, what the hell is the map button in this game? Oh, I don't. I, I don't have a map yet. Mm. So, is this the same as the other game where I have, I, I just have so many days? <laughs> okay, you're talking a lot of smack, lady. Oh, you got mirrors in the game. That's cool. Yeah, this game came out in 2010. I, th I think. The ladies were a little disappointed in your performance tonight, Chuck. But you must get that a lot. Good night, ladies. Watch out, Erwin! Oh, I missed.
on tight, Katie. Hold on a second, son. Listen, it's an existing condition, all right? It's okay, it happened a long time ago. It's only a matter of time before she turns. Hey, don't worry. I've got Sombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot, because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilizing. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. Pharmacy in the Royal Flesh Mall. I'm Stacy Forsyth, by the way. I'm Chuck. And this is Katie. Do you know a way out of here? No. But if you find one, I suggest you take this. That way we can keep in touch. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only, but I'll keep an eye on them. Chuck, if you find anyone alive out there... I'll do what I can. Keep an eye on my daughter, okay?
All right, military will arrive in three days to contain the summer break. Now, keep track of how much time is left. So, like, it it pretty much is set up the same way as the first game. The transceiver will let you receive co-op calls. Press to answer co-op calls. People can drop in for a co-op game at any time. You can restrict who joins in the gameplay options menu. Oh, that, there, there ain't no way no one's going to join on, on this game. This kid... Oh, 14 year old video game? Ain't no way. There has to be an this is just too much. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> uh, okay. So I need to go there. All right. I like I, I can't move the map around. It's weird. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Map button. Okay. I mean, it, it's it's set up a little different than the first game, but like, I mean, I think kind of like structure wise, it's pretty fucking similar. Hey girl. Oh, and I like have to go through a vent and everything. Jeez, it, it is the first game. So do I have moves and, and stuff like the first game? Oh yeah. No, I, damn, this is just almost just like the first game. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Wait, and this is a mall too, man. You think like really played it safe with the setup on this? You, <coughs> bitch. The dark bean. So, how grabby are the zombies in this game? First game, they're pretty grabby. Somebody. All right, so some some zombies will just kind of like run stagger towards you. So. I mean, that, that's good to know. Ooh, crowbar. Yeah, like this guy right here. Okay. So that, that's definitely good to know. Can I drive this car? Ah. Nope.
All right, so similar kind of kind of setup here. You can buy or switch out clothes and shit like that. Just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely going to need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Hmm. Interesting. Hey, so, so there's human enemies? Zombrex. Zombrex is a drug that stops the infected from becoming zombies. It is high in demand, expensive, hard to find. The new and improved Zombrex form in last 24 hours. Zombrex overdoses are deadly. Users must never take it earlier than prescribed. The Zombrex counter on your HUD shows so how much you have at all times. Katie needs Zombrex every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. If she doesn't get it, she will die. God. Check your watch to see if it's time for Katie's next dose. Hello. Survivors of the outbreak. There are survivors of the outbreak scattered throughout Fortune City, escorting anyone you find back to the safe house. Though some might not come with you willingly. Press Y to call a survivor. Mm. Right, so pretty much the same thing. Come Stay on. close. <laughs> Perhaps not the best weapon. I don't care though. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, is he fighting something back here? Come on, lady. Keep close. Not gonna do it. Keep it moving. Yeah. So Okay, this is already annoying. Stick with me. Dude, she keeps getting grabbed. This is annoying. All right, Denise, with your bizarre ass spelling, come on. Stick close. Infected in here. <laughs> Let's see. Earn prestige points by killing zombies, saving stars. Uh, you level up, leveling up lets you gain new attributes. <laughs> Row distance increased to two. It's exciting. Backdrop. Quickly escape and grapple from behind. It said she'll give it to her. Hmm. I I guess I have to be there for some reason. The vacuum cleaner. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. A fucking vacuum cleaner? <laughs> like, what? This place is like a maze. There's like doors everywhere here. Wait, what, what's this poster say? Warning, how to, how to identify an infected. What to do if someone around you becomes infected. Isolate infected, run, find help, find a weapon, remove or damage brain. If step five fails, try to make infected immobile by removing their legs. Seven, if there's or more infected, repeat steps one through six. Let's see here. Skin tone. Infected skin is dead skin and loses all color. Uh, is seen as blue gray tone. Hair. The infected lose their hair in patches. The eye color. The infected loses any color and turns lifeless. The infected feed on human flesh. Want blood sprayed on face and clothing. Ripped clothing. The infected. What's that say? Are clumsy and slow. Need. Ah. Uh, much like students during spring break. What? It's interesting there, there's money in this game. Sorry, I'm just exploring. I mean, I don't know what this area is. So there's a helipad just like the first game. I mean, this just feels like a, I don't know, like a reimagined first game. I, I don't, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not disliking it. I'm just, uh, you know, it's like, I just did this. Like I just played this game. So, am, am I just hanging out until it's time to give her uh, medicine? Okay, that's kind of nice that there's uh There's uh, food in here that I can grab. Now, the question becomes, does this shit respawn? Wait, I can use the thing of ketchup as a weapon? What? I, I mean, I guess I'll just stand here until it's time to, like, give her the medicine because there's nothing else for me to do right now. Or maybe not. Hang on. Let me, like, just explore a, a little bit more. Even though I, I, I think I've, I've gone into every room at this point.
I, um... Is this setup like the first game where, like, if I die, you know, I, like, can start the game over and keep all my levels and shit? Finally. Hey, honey. I told you I'd get some Zombrex. See, that wasn't so bad, Dad. You sure are Daddy's girl. The next case will unlock at 7 a.m. Well, ain't that now? I've been told that we have received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City Arena, the site of the Terror's reality game show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? A member of the zombie rights protest group Cure was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit! That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you were part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry.
Maintenance room key lets you access all maintenance rooms in Fortune City. Maintenance rooms will let you make powerful combo weapons. Maintenance rooms are located throughout Fortune City. Bright red doors with neon signs are easily visible from a distance. Okay. So then it looks like, give me, what? Stacy will send you messages about interesting things she's having in her city. Each mission has a time limit. You can check time limits on the mission queue on the HUD or the watch screen. Missions will lead you to survivors of the zombie outbreak scattered around Fortune City. Visit the pawn shop. Moe's Imaginations. A looter has taken over Moe's Imaginations and Platinum Strip and made it into a pawn shop. A young woman is armed taking out some zombies near the arena entrance. Oh. Uh. Combo cards give you the recipe to build powerful combo weapons. The cards you have found are all on the combo card screen. Killing with combo weapons gives you bonus prestige points. You can level faster and kill more zombies. Try building more combo weapons using items from... So, how do I, how do I build the thing? Oh, there we go. I like wonder if um there's something like uh, you know ooh, the first game uh anyway if there's something like the first game where you can um you know kill a, a, like like 10 million zombies and uh get like a super weapon or something okay i can't talk to her Come on, La La Chandra. Yeah, Don't fall behind. Come on, lady. 
Yeah, pick up the pace. Hmm. That's weird. So there, there's an item that you can combine with a bucket. <laughs> like what? So the weapon crafting's doom, and that that definitely wasn't a thing in the first game. There's a power drill back there. It was pretty cool. I like hear someone crying over here. Power drill plus a bucket. Nice. Well, I, I'm definitely intrigued by that combo. I saw a power drill. Oh, there's a bucket right there. Is this? Hold on. I like want to see what this does. Oh my! Keep moving. Help, Help me! Yes. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, okay, I mean, like, that explains what the buckets are for. <laughs> Just, uh, I actually, I actually love that. That's great. It doesn't seem like something I'm going to use a whole lot, though. Unless, like, you can use it on, like, stronger enemies or maybe bosses or something. You know, I probably would have got more prestige if I would have went and saved his dumb ass with the wife. But, oh well. What if? Wait, what is that? A shower head. So it seems like you heal every time you go in the safe room now i mean I, I could be imagining that but i i think that's what ha what's happening there and i i swear i i, I saw a tooltip about that for like a split second before the screen changed so that's kind of if that's true that's nice because that was something i i, I kind of low-key wish the first game had because it was annoying to like 
go into that safe room, but like you had no healing items there. It, it used to stock healing items, but then it stopped at one point in the game. It's it. You just stabbed the zombie with the, with the fucking, uh, Oh, it's biting me in the dick. Okay. My uh, bat's about to break. That's a problem. I really don't care about that weapon. That's, that's just not anything I'm ever going to use. Hello. Kappa. Well, they definitely increased the amount of uh, items and shit that you can mess with. It seems like every other thing I see, I can grab and use as a weapon. Man, I, I really wish I could drive that car. A water gun? <laughs> Why in the world would I ever use this? Is someone shooting at me? Oh! It's a Texan! It's my people! Oh, thank God. He hit me.
Chad. A box of nails and a propane tank. Cool. So what is this? Okay, so there's a there's a vendor. Got it. Come on, Chad. This uh, person on the side quest must be his wife. And and for the record, Chad doesn't seem to need my ass. Like Chad seems to be doing just fine on his own. Ooh. I hear. Oh, there she is. He keeps shooting her. This way. Come on, lady. Um, I don't know if I necessarily remember where where the uh, where the safe room is. So there's the pawn shop. Oh, it's in there. Okay, I got it. Is there another way to get in there? Oh, there is. Look, I could just turn around and go in here. Oh. 
At least I I think that's what it's telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go in the casino, Chad. Buddy. Man, I haven't been to a casino in a while. Kind of getting a hanker into to, to go go play some cards, play some slot machines. Holy shit! Come on, Chad. Stick to me. Well, damn, can like, can like they just hang out with me the whole game? I mean, they're pretty fucking capable. <laughs> Uh, they, I think they're more capable than I am. I am Whiskey plus newspaper. Okay. Well, all right. All right, well, I'm going to end the gameplay. I know usually I, I do these for a couple hours before I stop playing, but I'm just, I'm tired of shit. I, like, n n need to go to bed. But um, I am going to go, so throw me a like, and let me know if you play this game and what you think of it, if it's better or worse or equal to the first game. So far, it seems cool. I mean, it's pretty much the first game with some additional stuff, so whatever. Um, anyway, I'm going to go, and I will see you when I see you.